1984, something really awful happened to my family. The man who ran the bank where we had all of our money stole it. Every dime. We wound up flat broke. I know that's hard to believe. You wouldn't think a president would ever be flat broke, but we were. This man was a criminal and he stole all our money. So in 1884, trying to think of a way to bring money back into my family, I started writing my memoirs. Do you know what a memoir is? Like a book? Yes, it is. Very good. Uh, it is, uh, memoir sounds like memory a little bit, and it, but that's really what it is. It's a person's memories of his life. Uh, an autobiography is another word for it. Uh, I began writing my memoirs. I had been told that people were interested in my story from the Civil War mostly, and the book would sell very well, and that my family would have money. So I started to work writing the book, but Within three months, I became very ill. I became very sick. In fact, I was diagnosed with cancer. And I was told I only had a few months left to live. There was cancer of the tongue, and it was in the throat. It was awful. Uh, so, writing this book, getting it finished, was a race against death. My time was running out. My doctor wanted me somewhere where there was clean, fresh air. He thought clean mountain air might, might allow me to live just a little bit longer and I might have time to finish my book. And I'll tell you now I did. I finished the book right here at Grant Cottage. And this is it. It came out in two volumes. Ah, okay, let me, let me ask you this. The man who published the book was this man. Do you recognize this fellow? Mark Twain? Yes. Mark Twain was a great author. He'd written, you probably know, Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer, but he'd also just started his own publishing house. It was Mark Twain who published my book. And I will tell you now, he was right. He predicted it would be a bestseller, and it was. My family, if, if you look at modern money, compare it with, with what money was worth in 1885, in modern money, my family wound up with between three and four million dollars from the sale of these books. They didn't have to worry about money for the rest of their lives. So that is the happy ending to the story. But there's more to the story than that. And I'll tell you the story as I show you the rest of the house.